So I've got Joe Norris from Get Your Tips Out. And today's video is a bit of a random one because it's to do with artificial intelligence and how you and the rest of the team are using AI for data research and analysis. Mm -hmm. And obviously there's a new ebook coming out soon called The Better's Blueprint. So just give a little bit of information about how AI is helping you and assisting you to kind of choose certain selections on the football or on the horse racing. Yeah, so obviously um, we'll start off with the horse racing. Obviously, we have to study a hell of a lot of data um, and we're using a lot of stats uh, each day, um, which sort of helps assist us to find the horses that we're going to eventually back. Um, so, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, we could be looking at over 100 horses. Um, and what AI helps us to do is um, we sort of put in the factors uh, that we're looking for. So it helps whittle down that list of, of over 100 horses down to sort of 30 horses. Um, and then you can even set it so that it will then predict to you what horses it thinks are best based on a certain system. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite amazing, to be honest, um, the amount of time it's saving us um, for starters yeah. and, and the results that it's producing as well. Yeah. I think it's crazy because... Previously, I'll be honest with you, I've always hated the predictors and stuff like that. And I'm always like, mm, just let me choose my horses that I want to choose. Yeah. But the fact that the simulation now allows you to put your own filters in and it's very bespoke to what I want to choose mm. for my horses. So it could be whether it's a trainer in form, a jockey in form, whether it's a jockey and trainer kind of combination where it's the ground conditions, like what sectional times the horses run at. There's mm. so many different kind of the fast finishes or if a horse, I like the idea that we can all kind of crunch once we've got the numbers down to, let's say, it's come down to 30, 40 horses. We can then start seeing the last few runs and seeing how lucky or unlucky they have been in running and stuff like that. And yeah. we can put, assign scores against it, which then means we can all kind of correlate that data together. Yeah. Um it's funny as well because obviously I know that you like the when it when a horse first runs in a handicap goes up in distance yeah. and it's being well backed. That's kind of a there's a Joe Norris tip <laughs> and stuff like that. But the yeah. um, well, there's so many different factors. Like I know that uh, Mark and uh, David they prefer a lot about the times and the sectional times, mm. um, the go in and stuff like that. So we've all got our own little filters of what we like and what we don't like. So I mean. A lot of the time, we kind of come out with the same outcome with the same yeah. horse. But it, it's crazy how one little kind of fine tuning of I want um, course form or grown form and stuff like that, how it can give you a few different selections. And it can it kind yeah. of, it make, it, like you said, it just saves so much time. And the, the, the artificial intelligence is there to kind of supercharge you in making certain that you don't miss something that you go, oh, I wish I'd looked at that. There's so many times I've watched the race and a horse has won and I'm like, why didn't I choose that? I should have yeah. chosen. Like, it was there glaringly obvious. Yeah. So I think the AI on that reason um, is great. Well, then what yeah. about football? So are you using it specifically for football and anything? Uh, yeah, like, you know, so so the AI works. You sort of tailor it to your betting approach. Like you said, what, what you look for, um, it can then give you the result. Like the, the more with the football as well, the more information you put into it, the better it's going to be. Um, so yeah. if you're, you know, if you're looking, you want to, you know, like you say, you like to back a team uh, to win and over two and a half goals. So you're just yeah. feeding, feeding that information into the system all the time. And then it's going to yeah. help, help to produce a result. So yeah, we're, we're using it for football as well now. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's great. I love it for the bet builders. So in, in being able to turn around and seeing what the average amount of corners that they've had, um, yeah. maybe on the team I mean the, the AI can't do this but like sometimes if I've if I've got like let's say nine teams that it's come back with where they're saying we feel this is going to be over three and a half goals I only generally bet over two and a half myself so yeah. over two are both teams to score and a team to win but if, if they think it's going to be over three and a half goals and then yeah. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking both teams are going to go to win here when I'm looking at the team news mm -hmm. I'm like it just saves you, like you said, it just saves you time. The artificial intelligence can come back with another one's like bookings. So they predict that there's going to be a high booking game because they've looked at the stats of the referees 
and yeah. how many, how many, like one referee, you, it's crazy because one referee might average one to two bookings a game, yeah. and you get one or two others that are just card happy. Do you well, know what I mean? And they give you you're seven or eight. You're putting in so many factors because you're yeah. combining, like you say, the ref, the ref, how many cards he gives over the season. You're also yeah. looking at the player, how many fouls, because you can enter that into the system, how many fouls that yeah. player does on average. So there's so many lines of data that you can put in and then it obviously computes and gives you, gives you a result. And it just, like you say, it just saves so much time. Yeah. And and not only the saving of time, I think it actually makes your output that little bit better because mm. like it saves you time, but then also the quality of the choices that you're making, like, well, just look at the results in the last month since we've been yeah. using it. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Like yeah. I know personally, I've never been as profitable I've had the most profitable month I've had in years, and it's no, that definitely I think, helped me. Obviously, especially on, I've I've seen it on the horse racing. It's been mind blowing, really. What it, you know, yeah. the angles that I've been looking for, and the results that it's been coming back with. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So, if anyone wants to know a little bit more about the new ebook that we are going to be releasing, basically, we're giving all the places where you can look for the data and the stats of what we're looking at. There's quite a lot of data, if I'm being honest. I think there's something like 74 different data points that we're looking at. That's just on the horse racing. There's even more on the football. Then check out the link in the description. Um, the ebook's going to be called The Better's Blueprint. And it's going to be giving you all the different places. We're actually providing it all on the website. All the information is going to be there on a daily basis with the informed jockeys, the informed trainers and everything else for you to be able to decide and make your own choices um, or you can just do what I do normally and follow Dave Potter and Joe Norris who provide great tips. <laughs>